everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Stones of Harlaf overview. So this thing appeared like a week ago on a pre-order option, pretty cheaply actually, I don't think it was even 10 bucks for this game, and it gives me like the vibes of the game that I would enjoy personally, like my particular style of Journey of the Gods, the Wizards, stuff like that. So Stones of Harlaf seems to be like an adventure exploration RPG I would say, I don't know what elements of RPG it would have, like some statistics or maybe just a basic idea of the genre. This project seems pretty unique, especially that the art style is interestingly mixed because if you look at the character hands and then the environment with monsters it's a pixelated world but not everything is like blended so for example the monsters and certain moving things are put in like an 8-bit art but the rest is like higher quality pixel wise which is very interesting i did not really see something like that usually the whole concept would be consistent throughout the whole game so i don't know it just stands out mostly we can deduct from this trailer that it's a spell casting game but different from the wizard in a way that you make more sharper movements to cast your spells instead of like full rotations. The world as well seems to be open or at least instance that you travel and meet NPCs, fight with monsters. Somehow it might be deceiving that it seems simple because on the first look no one would be expecting anything complicated but I feel like the developers went in this direction to work on more complex mechanics not focusing on the graphics and expand. Kinda similarly how Orbus revolves. Deceiving graphics but ultimately a very good gameplay. It gives me huge vibes of the days that I've played RuneScape. It's like a classic. Every gamer pretty much either remembers it or tried at least once. It's one of those games of my generation that you would play after school and just meet up with friends discussing the builds like RuneScape and Tibia. Those were the childhood stories pretty much. As well as it gives me somehow Might on Magic which I've never played. I'm mostly familiar with the sister franchise which is Heroes of Might of Magic that I'm a huge fan of. Or maybe even Elder Scrolls, I don't know, just first person RPG in a sense that it's kinda actually something new to the quest overall. I don't really remember something like that if we were specifically looking at the mechanics, it's like presenting everything all in one somehow. There's not a lot of information about it, but I'm pretty excited, like I'm all for RPG and like a new gameplay from that genre. I feel like I've been playing shooters for about half year so far, so I'm happy for the more variety and finally something that is like exactly my lane of preference, so let's get into it. Well, we're literally jumping in. <laughs> Press the menu button on the left control to adjust comfort and gameplay options. Okay, lovely. Settings. Game difficulty. Uh, let's do normal for now. I'm into RPG and adventure stuff, so maybe we'll switch to hardcore. I don't see, I think, smooth turning. It's just this quick rotate which kinda just doubles the turn, but I would love to have smooth turn, of course. Yeah, I guess that's it. So, we, I guess... What a strange place. At least I washed up on the speech instead of drowning. Damn storm. Okay. Let's explore. Okay. <laughs> oh, is that a rabbit or nightmare or something? Uh -huh. Press A to interact with the stone. Seems like this stone is bursting with magic. Odd. I see some smoke over the trees. Maybe this island is inhabited after all. Uh, I mean, clearly. Hello? Oh, this is a rabbit, okay. <laughs> Follows the stars to the town. It is this pixelated graphics, which it's hard to judge it. Of course, it's like low graphics, but intentionally, so. Hi. Okay, more rabbits, sure. Oh. Something moving the trees? Oh, hello! Don't look at me. <laughs> Can I touch it? Okay, well. <laughs> Press A to enter the inn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fan Chan? Fon Chan? Fon Chon? What? Greetings. It's so good to see a new face in Marhaven. And this inn will be your resting place during all of your adventures. But don't be fooled. This island is much more dangerous than it seems. Don't go out before training with Brother Cody, because he'll make sure you're ready for any encounter. Where is he? I guess outside. Brother Cody! Yeah, I wish I would have smooth turn. It's just annoying to do this quick rotates, you know? But whatever. Okay. 
I guess that's you. Ah, a newcomer. Whoa. I have everything you need. You cannot venture out without shield and sword. Go try them out on those practice dummies over yonder and return once you've got the hang of it. Raise shield to block magic. Interesting. Whoa, shit, by yourself. Whoa. Okay. I like deflect now. Okay. Eesh. Okay, this is like. Whoa. <laughs> Full scale combat, actually. Let me block, like, maybe a hit from a sword. Will you do something? <laughs> when blocking an enemy sword, their health bar will turn blue. Oh! <laughs> Okay, swing shield to bash enemies. Ah, is it like reactional with uh, the tempo? So, okay, this is not a damage. Oh, this is way more. Okay, so it's actually physics as well. But now, good, you're a natural. I see that you have the gift of magic. Back to the dummies and try out your fire spell. Press grip button on the right hand. Air draw the rune and release. Whoa! Wait, magic blast, inferno bomb. Okay, and those are probably charges, right? To like, redraw the rune. Got it. So what happens with B? What the hell? Okay, so we have two types of spell. And it uh, uses everything, I assume. I wonder if you use it like on the last charge? No, I can't cast. Okay, I can on 4, 3, Two, but not on one. Okay, got it. One final piece of advice. Your grimoire is full of information. Touch the tabs to navigate through the pages that can help you with your adventure. Once done, come back. I might need you to take care of something for me. So we just have fireball or fire. I guess this is just element and then we choose like the appropriate spell. A tribe of fisk ratters have slowly started to invade the island. While most of them keep to their huts in the north, a couple of them set up camp right next to our village. We cannot allow this. Please take care of the problem for us. Um, okay, <laughs> let's go. An obvious comparison is uh, the ancient dungeon, right? Like, this pixel art style with just mechanics of RPG. This seems more open because in ancient dungeon, it says from the name, we're in the dungeon. Here, it's kind of like we have open world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bye. <laughs> I wanna change the sword. Was it trigger or something? I'm not sure. Let's stick with magic for now. So I'm here and the quest is kill the first well, right next to the village, then report back to Brother Kali. Okay. Bunny you're dead. Oh my god, okay, you know, that's too brutal. <laughs> I knew I'm dumb. Fan stick, not trigger. Here we go. Thank you so much. The fisk ratters are only one of the many problems we've started to have on the island. Go see Arissa Evermore. She might need your help. Alissa, Arissa, whatever. Ah, <laughs> well, that's you. I am the wine merchant of this village. Unfortunately, I'm just so scared to go in the cellar. Lately, it has been infested with rats, and I don't know where they're coming from. Please help me get rid of them once and for all. <laughs> once and for all? Sure. This really reminds me of like, you know, Tibia or whatever. Like, you literally would start your quest line with just... Quest on rats. Oh my god, distraction. Tash Tash! Ow! <laughs> well... Oh, they poisoned me. Assholes. Oh shit, I <laughs> got scared by myself. <laughs> Hello. Damn. A cave as well. Oh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> this seems ominous. I don't have mana for it, so whatever. Bring it! Whoever you are. Two health bars? What the hell? 
Get out! Oh, okay. That was like the main rat or whatever. A rune. We have a new spell. Teleport. Instantly move. Slow down time. <laughs> it's literally like a teleport that you would use in other games. Like, okay. Bye-bye! <laughs> I wanna start it, but I don't think I can. I don't really have like an inventory, but I think we got it. Yeah. What a strange rune. I have no idea what causes a seller's collapse or where that rune came from. Hmm. You should bring it to brother Cody. Classic RPG. Kill, bring, talk. Amazing. This rune holds the secret of space and time. Try these new spells on the practice dummies and get back to me. This is not like a new mechanic. In VR we have teleport movement, but we have this slow down time, so... Okay, that's cool. These runes are linked with the standing stones of Harlath, most of which are corrupted now. Maybe the runes can help us heal the island. Is it sick? <laughs> you may be able to find another rune in the ground gut mines. They have not been used in a long, long time. So expect them to be infested with unfriendly creatures. What creatures are friendly? And that is Grim War. Like, it's just the map, just the resources, stuff like that. I think I wish I would have an inventory, but it's just because this game does not, like, operate on that particular mechanic. But I think we have to go up there. I'm not sure which is, like, better. I think I would prefer Battle Mage because it's, like, way more convenient from ranged. Bye. Yeah, I'm a murderer. What about it? How do I open the chest though? <laughs> okay. Those rabbits are stalking me. <laughs> so I can't cast while moving. I have to stay still. Yeah, because I just need to draw a shape. Oh, what the hell? What is this? Hello? I don't know what the do is too. That might be some sort of a weapon. Oh, it's like a rune for a weapon. Do I like activate it with something? Oh, wait. Oh, wow, what? Like this grimoire as well, it says collect all items to spawn additional treasure chests on the island. So basically just collect everything here and then we'll have like additional content on the map. Wait, what the hell is that? <laughs> I heard a spear. <laughs> I like the sound effects of the trees, like it seems like that something's moving there. Um, hello? Okay, you don't talk then. Hey, I see you. Oh shit, not this spell. <laughs> Come here. Oh, damn. Moves. Shut up. <laughs> I see you too. Okay, I actually really like this. It seems like simplistic and all, but the gameplay is pretty smooth with just switching weapons and just tactics. I prefer battle match, honestly. It's not my particular style of like RPG, but casting spells here feels like satisfying enough and it's very easy to handle, so. This is very fun. I'll probably do like a whole playthrough of this game. When it's gonna arrive on the channel, I'm not sure because there's a lot on the line, but this is definitely something that I would interested in doing more. So yeah, fun.